Lord, I just want to be faithful to you. And sometimes I don't know how. I'll be struggling. But I think it's because I've had a too narrow, too small definition of faithfulness. I used to say things like, God, send me out to Africa so I can build wells, dig wells, and provide clean drinking water. Lord, send me out to Planned Parenthood so I can love and care for these mothers and fathers and defend these innocent babies that are in the womb, that are made in your image and in your likeness, God. God, I want to be faithful. Therefore, send me out to college campuses so I can declare your name and share your gospel, Lord. But what the Lord has been teaching me is that although there's good work, and that's all good work, all the things that I've listed, the question is, what good work out there is for me to do? What have I called you to do? And I think the best way for us to know what we need to be faithful to is, where are we? And what are the things that God has placed in front of us? And how can we be faithful to that? Where am I already going? Where are the places that where I am already and I'm going to next? As well as who are the people that I've connected to as well as passed by on a constant basis that I have to be or not that I have to be that I can be faithful to. And so how can I be faithful to God? Because faithfulness is just having a Christ mindedness when you do things. Christ or uh, faithfulness is just stewarding the things that God has placed in front of you well. And so when I'm at the cafeteria, when I'm in class, when I'm in that intro to marketing business class, how can I be faithful? When I am in, when I'm playing basketball, how can I be faithful? When I'm sharing the gospel, how can I be faithful? And so uh, I think a perfect Jim Elliott, a Christian evangelist, would always pray this prayer. And it says, and he would say, Lord, wherever I am, help me to be all there. And I think just that prayer is perfect for faithfulness. I think that encapsulates everything that faithfulness is about because it's wherever I am, how can I be all there? How can I be all there? Because although there's good work that, that can be done out there, what work in, is in front of me that I can be faithful to, that I can do well? And so I just pray that wherever God has placed you, I just pray that you can be all there, that, that we can be present wherever God um, wants us to be. And so when we start to think that faithfulness is some concept that's out there, it's over there, we lack the vision of how we can be faithful to where we already are. I talked to my professor, shout out, Dr. Lundy, Biola University. I asked him, I was like, Dr. Lundy, I don't know how to be faithful. I was like, I don't even know what faithfulness is. And he drew a little circle. Don't worry, this is Sharpie. Don't worry, Grandma. It's not a tattoo. It's a little circle. It's a little, some lines. It's supposed to look like a pie. He said, Dr. Lundy said, faithfulness is like a pie. And our goal as Christians is essentially each slice of the pie represents a part of your life. And so our goal as Christians is to make sure that each slice of the pie is the right size and that it's balanced. Because sometimes, for me especially, we be overemphasizing some parts of our lives. Sometimes we be emphasizing ministry and work and school. But what about prayer and devotion? What about silence and solitude? What about hanging out with friends? What about taking grandma to the cemetery? What about um, that homeless person on the side of the road, you know? And so although in different parts and seasons of our life, certain slices are going to be bigger than others. Right now, I'm a student in college and I have a hard time seeing how God can use me as a student when I'm like, God, send me out, send me out. To do the work that's out there. But in reality, God has me where he has me right now so that I can be built up, that I can be equipped, so that I can continue to, so I can have a strong foundation before I get sent out, whatever that means, or wherever God has placed me. How can I be faithful? And so one great way, one great practice for us is when it comes to faithfulness, draw out a circle Mark out the pies. What are things, what are parts of your life um, that you already devote your time to? And how can you be faithful in those categories? How can you be a great student? How can you be a great, how can you do good at your job? How can you do good as a father? How can you be a great son? How can you be a great daughter? All those kinds of things. Start listing those out and ask yourself those questions. How can I be great? 
in the roles that God has already placed me. And also pray, God, what roles in the future do you have for me? And surrender those to the Lord. And so I just pray that we could be all there, that we can be present, that we can be faithful to everything that God has placed in front of us, that everything that we do has a sense of Christ-mindedness, has a sense of stewardship for the Lord. And so one thing that I also want to highlight is for you students, uh, we will always be students because we have a teacher and that's Jesus that we strive to become like and we strive to follow. We strive to implement his teachings. And the Christian life is a life of being a student and we are students for life. And so don't think the fact that you're a student doesn't mean that you can be faithful to God when in reality, being a student is one of the greatest roles and will be a role that you always will be as a Christian. And so, God is good. God's gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. And so even when we're imperfect, God's graciousness, um, his sustaining power, his strength um, keeps us going. So, Lord, I pray that I can be faithful. I pray that I have eyes to see of how I can be faithful to the places that you place me in, to the people they already have me connected, Lord. And I just pray that whatever dreams, wherever I might be sent out to, Lord, that I can just surrender that to you. Alrighty, folks, that's what God has been teaching me. And that's what's been on my heart and my mind recently. I hope you enjoyed the video. I love y'all. Um, stay prayed up. Find a local church and get in that word. I love you guys and uh, Jesus loves you.